Hi everybody, so it's time for my Division 2 review, well, my review of the open beta on PlayStation 4 anyway, and to kind of answer the question, should you be thinking seriously about buying this game? But first off, we've got to give really good um, pats on the back to Ubisoft for doing an open beta, you know, which is open to everybody for free. You know, not many games do this. They'll have betas which are really just marketing exercises to get people to buy the super duper versions of the game because you get to play them get to play the beta and other people don't um, but I've thoroughly enjoyed this and um, the first thing I'd say as well is that the division 2 plays very very similarly to the division 1 if you enjoyed the division 1 then you will enjoy playing the division 2 the gunplay feels very similar um, which is great um, the uh, damage mechanics feels very similar. The graphics are similar, uh, a little bit better, and they were really good in the division. So basically, that means these are great graphics. Um, the sounds of the guns is good. The music is great, and that was a high point of the division as well. Really good sort of escape from New York kind of John Carpenter music. Enjoyed that very very much. Um, and I've enjoyed working my th way through the story missions and working my way through the side missions and, and the control points and things like that. Played a little bit of the Dark Zone um, and the Dark Zone has the same issues that it did in The Division 1 I think which is I would really like it in the Dark Zone if they had a player versus environment only Dark Zone where you couldn't get attacked by rogue agents because it's a very tense affair in the Dark Zone because you're going around and you're taking on high level enemies. Um, and then you'll get some gear and you may even team up with somebody you know a fellow player and you have this knife edge where you trust are you trusting everybody then someone else will come along and just shoot you you know and it's it's a real it's really nasty when, <laughs> when they do that and very frustrating as well um, so although the dark zone is one of the best player versus player multiplayer situations you will find yourself in in terms of tension and uh, it's almost like when you're going for chicken dinner in PUBG. Um, it is a little bit frustrating as well, and I would really be looking forward to playing like the horde mode. I like playing player versus environment in in the division, and that's why I like the story mode so much, and the so and the side missions so much, and the fact you know that you can wander around and just get yourself into trouble, leveling up and collecting loot just by wandering around. In this case. Washington DC and the graphics look great the environments you know are, are very immersive there's this whole storyline that's bubbling along that is told to you in an interesting way through audio logs through mobile phones you find through recre hollow recreations of crime scenes that are kind of filling you in on we, we know the broad story the fact that you know the virus that was around in the division one was spread across the country but why has the government not been able to deal with it properly? Why is it spread to, to Washington and the rest of the country? And obviously, there's some, some dark forces who are helping uh, helping this along. So, reading between the lines, you'll guess that I'm pretty impressed with the Division Two, as I was in very impressed with the Division One as well. So, I would say that if you're a big Division fan, you know, if you spent hundreds if not thousands of hours playing the division and perhaps you even still play it now um, and have been waiting for the division 2 to come out I think you're gonna be happy with this game remember it's gonna have its jankiness it's gonna have its bugs and um, we're gonna have more content throughout the years it rolls out but at this stage the game looks better than the division 1 did when it came out and I think it plays very much like the division 1 did um, near the end of its life cycle which is very smooth um, and very very enjoyable and you will sink hundreds of hours into this game if that's you know if the division was was your kind of cup of tea if it was your bag because there's the whole um, expansion system the whole development the whole ranking system the whole leveling system where not only now do you have a home base but you have these settlements all around that you can level up um, there's control points to take over and maintain um, lots more going on it's like the division with more of the division in it and never make the mistake of thinking that this stuff is busy work because although it may seem repetitive to do these side missions and the, these different tasks over and over again because the minute to minute gunplay and mechanics is so much fun and so enjoyable and so so uh, fulfilling 
Um, it's great. Anything that gives you an excuse to go out and shoot more bad guys is is really good. And I'd say you will sink hundreds and hundreds of hours into that. If the division was a game you very much enjoyed, but it was a it was a secondary game, and that I pretty much fall into that camp in the fact that I came to the division one. I think about six months after it released, I picked it up cheap in the PlayStation Store and thoroughly enjoyed my time playing the single player in the division, playing the story mode, and then working my way through the streets of New York and then working my way um, to the end game and then levelling up and then replaying uh, missions to get, get higher end kit, teaming up with other people. I really enjoyed that, but it was always a secondary game to me from the games of like Call of Duty or, or Battlefield. Now we've got player on those battlegrounds as, as well. We've got PUBG. So for me, although I think the Division 2 is really good, it will always be a secondary game to PUBG and hopefully it'll be a secondary game to Battlefield as well when Firestorm comes out when we have the Battle Royale for that. And I'm very, very much enjoying Battlefield 5 as well. So for me the answer is, should I buy it? No, not at the moment. I'm not going to buy it when it's new. I'm not going to buy it at its release price. I'm going to wait until it gets significantly reduced in price. Then I will definitely buy it and I will definitely play it. And I'm looking forward to that, even though I know it will probably be sort of six months time. Say when it goes down to uh, £30, say. Um, it's pretty good as well that all the extra content that they're putting in in terms of missions and story missions, well, well most of it is going to be free to everybody. The different game modes are going to be free to everybody, which is very important. And so that's what I'll be doing. Um, if you're watching this game though and you're thinking, I like the look of it and I, I like the idea of a third person cover based shooter, and although you might be a little bit confused about the levelling system, the RPG aspect of it, don't really worry about that. All you need to really remember is numbers go up. Guns with bigger numbers are better, armour with bigger numbers are better, and you can work your way through with the missions like that. Then I would say seriously consider The Division, especially if you're looking for a game. Um, I personally enjoy The Division more than playing games like um, Destiny, you know those sort of shooter looters. I think The Division and The Division 2 do it very well, and I particularly enjoy this environment, you know, this semi-realistic post-apocalyptic environment. So there we go, That's that kind of answers my, my question really. The Division 2, more of the same, it's more of the Division, but more polished, with more to do, looking slightly better. So, if you're a big Division fan, this is definitely for you. If you're not so much of a Division fan, if you really enjoyed it, but you have other game, main games, I would say, maybe wait for it to, to go cheaper. Mainly because you probably won't be that much interested in the PvP, and so being behind the skill tree of PvP, you know, as people learn to play multiplayer shooters, better and better and better if you come to the game later it's more and more difficult to compete you know it's like if you were to buy call of duty black ops 4 now and try and compete at multiplayer you'll find it very challenging because people have been playing it for sort of four four months like with PUBG as well but if you're more of a casual player for, for the division like I am where you're mainly going to be playing for the single player I'd say wait for it to go cheaper you know save your money get it then and then the game will probably run smoother anyway because they'll have patched a few of the bugs and the glitches out um, and if you're generally interested in third-person shooters um, and first-person shooters but haven't checked out the Division franchise before, definitely check it out because it is a very good and fun game. Um, so there we go. That's my review of The Division 2. Remember, this has been just been the open beta, so it's not the finished version of the game. But I've been very pleased with it and I'm looking forward to playing a lot more of The Division but in a few months' time when it gets a bit cheaper. Anyway, that's enough for me. Hope you found this useful. If you liked it, you know, hit the like button if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.